In this video, I'll demonstrate how to connect Security Onion with Scheduler and generate an automated report. Security Onion uses Kibana for visualization, so I'll use Scheduler's integration with Kibana to automate my Security Onion report. First, to connect Security Onion, I'll open Data Sources on the left, click Create Data Source, and choose Kibana. I'll name the data source Security Onion and enter the Elasticsearch URL and Kibana URL. Authentication is enabled. I'll choose Security Onion and enter my Security Onion credentials. Finally, under Advanced Option, I can set the search limit as high as 10,000 and configure the ping and request timeouts from the ELK stack. These advanced options are relevant if I'll be using custom layouts for reports instead of dashboard layouts. Now I'll click Save and Test. The data source is added and connected, and I'm ready to generate reports. I'll open Reports, click Create Report, and choose Visual Report. In the Select Data Source dropdown, I'll choose the Security Onion data source I just created, but if the data source was not already created, I could set it up during this step. Because this is a Kibana data source, I also need to select my space. There is a specific dashboard I want to use, so I'll keep the dashboard option for the report type. Other options are data table and saved search. Now I'll select the dashboard and keep the default load time. Now I'm ready to proceed to the design step, so I'll click next. For report type, the dashboard snapshot layout replicates my default Kibana dashboard and Smart Layout enables me to customize the charts inside the report. I'll choose Smart Layout. The Choose Template dropdown lists the default templates provided by Scheduler, as well as any custom templates I've set up. I'll choose the Default Dark Template and click Continue. My first customization step is to assign a report name. In all layout types, reports can be customized using charts, templates as we've seen, text elements and auto-generated parameters, graphic elements, and images. I'll return to Charts and scroll to the first inside page of the report. There are several ways to add charts to a report. Clicking a chart thumbnail adds the chart to the center of the current page, and I can resize and move the chart. I can also drag and drop a chart to the position I want. The next chart requires another inside page, so I'll duplicate the current page and bring in the chart. While a chart is selected, I can press Delete to remove it, which returns it to the charts list. Another way to add a chart is to click its checkbox, or I can select all and uncheck any I don't want, and click Add Charts to Reports. This automatically adds pages as needed. There are also options to reorder pages, delete the current page, add a new blank page, or open the settings where I can change page size, orientation, and background color. On the first page of the report, I'll select and delete the current logo image. To replace it with a different logo, I'll open Images, click Upload, and find my logo. Now I can drag the image onto the page and resize and move. To replace the report name, I'll double-click its text frame to open it for editing. Replacing the text and starting it with a dollar sign brings up a list of auto parameters, and I'll choose Report Title. Text frames can also be resized and moved. The top panel has options for changing font, size, and color of text. To add a text frame to this inside page, I'll open Texts, bring in a subheading, and edit and move the frame. The Elements list contains a collection of shapes and lines that I can add. And in Images, in addition to graphic files I've uploaded, I can also find a set of free stock images. By default, Scheduler will generate the report per the dashboard time window, but I can disable the default and set a custom time frame. I can also add a burst filter, which enables me to use one dashboard and send a different reports to different people based on dashboard queries. Burst filters are covered in a separate video. There are five export options for reports, PDF, PNG, HTML inline, Excel, or CSV. I'll keep PDF selected. 
To see how the generated report will look, I'll click Preview, which, after a few moments, displays the report preview in a separate browser tab. Returning to Scheduler, my report is designed so I can click Next or Schedule to proceed to the Schedule step. Here I can set the recurrence type, which will be monthly on the first day of each month. After saving these settings, I'll click Next to proceed to the Distribute step. Scheduler enables seamless report distribution via email and Slack. I'll choose the Send Grid channel already set up and add a recipient. For Subject, I'll keep the default auto parameter of Report Name and use the dollar sign to add an auto parameter for the date. I can also customize the email body text. Including recipients in the user filter is relevant if a burst filter is added to the report. Now I'll click Save, then Done, and the report is listed on the reports page. It will be automatically generated and distributed each month. To generate and download the report immediately, I can click the PDF icon. I can also generate the report at any time by clicking the Generate Now icon. Each report also has a three-dot icon, which opens a menu with options that include Edit, Manage Schedule, Share, or Delete. Thank you.